Hi everyone, Agnes here with a viewer question. Now it is from Arti. Arti, you've asked. I often hear about co-creation on my LOA WhatsApp group and Facebook groups as well and I have participated in one or two requests of others but still I feel I don't have its proper understanding yet. It would be great if you can make a video on the concept of co-creation and how to do it. I hope this will help others as well. Okay, so Artie, I don't know if you've heard any of the Neville stories. There was one story in particular where Neville had someone that called him and that person was quite distressed because they had a piano that was being moved in a removal truck and instead of arriving at its destination, it disappeared. The truck disappeared with the piano. And this young man who played the piano didn't have the money to replace it. And what he did was he called Neville and said to Neville, this is what's going on and I need some help. So what Neville did was he had a chat to this young man and then the young man hung up the phone and Neville stayed on the phone and what he described was that he closed his eyes and he imagined the piano being returned and the way that he imagined it was that this young man was playing a particular piece of music that Neville had heard him play. So he kept going over and over and over this until it felt natural. So what he did was he created something for someone else, okay, until it had the tones of naturalness. It felt real, okay. Then he hung up the phone and he let it go. So that concept is how you can start to think and understand about co-creating. Neville was co-creating for someone else. Now what you can do is take it a step further and do it simultaneously at the same time. So what you do is, and I do this with quite a few of my coaching clients, is they come to me with a scene and say, I really want to be with this particular person. So what they do is they come up with a scene and they say, okay, I want to imagine that we are in a committed relationship and we're living together and we've already had that conversation and we're doing it. So you've got to create, you being person number one, the exact scene that you want. So it would be that you're sharing a meal together, that you're sleeping in the same bed, and that you're sitting watching a movie together. Those three short little scenes would imply that you are living together. So when we do a co-creating session together, what happens is you, what we do is we, I set the, the alarm on my phone, say we do 15 minutes. We literally step away from Skype, as in we both lay down or sit so we're no longer looking at the Skype screen. For that 15 minutes, you, person number one, goes through those three scenes. Then what I do as the co-creator, I imagine you saying to me in your voice, so I'm person number two, I hear you telling me on Skype, we're living together, we're sleeping in the same bed and we're eating meals together. I love this living together, it feels so great. So I see you happy, excited, and enjoy that it has come together. But I hear it in your voice, I hear you telling me that. So we do this thing on a loop, you do your bit, I do my bit, and we do it for the 15 minutes. It's pinpointed, concentrated focus, okay? Imagination creates reality, so you spend time both working on the same exact scene, okay? Just from obviously opposite sides of the coin. So that is uh, how you do a co-creating session. So Neville's example of how he did it with the guy on the phone, obviously there was no Skype. Um, 
you can still, it doesn't matter. You can still do it. So you can do it with people on different sides of the world, like I do with people in different countries and different places. You can also do it with two of you physically together in the same room. So it's just up to you how you want to do it and for how long you want to do it. I find 15, 20 minutes is enough. And then you just, you let it go, breathe in, breathe out, let it go. And then, you know, we usually end up because I'm working with people, we have a conversation about it. So what did you see? Because sometimes other things pop in, uh, the details jump in, not so much for me, because I'm sticking to what I hear you saying, but for you, there might be extra details that come into it. Okay, so Artie, I hope that's answered your question. Lots of love. And I think I did another YouTube on co-creating. If I find it, I'll put it down in the description below for you. Lots of love.